Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Did you know I have a Kickstarter? This is pretty cool, right? You can actually find uh, this poster in the Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles greatest comic book store in all of Canada and most of the United States also. A couple of these, one on the outside door, one on the inside. Uh, Carlos is amazing. Hey, I love you, man. But you can check this out, and there's a, a QR code right to my Kickstarter. You can check it out, and this is, in general, what the Kickstarter book is going to look like. So it's going to be 80 pages. I've only got like six pages here. Uh, I think seven pages. But this is what the book is going to look like. This is professional. This is, I'm going to have some images in it. Uh, I got an ISBN already. Look, how to riddle. All this good stuff in here. Guys, this is a very professional book. The pages, they look like parchment. You can check out some of the riddles on here. Different kinds of riddles. Uh, riddles for fantasy, where the answers are fantasy characters, where the answers are verbs, general riddles, where the answers are um, medals, where the answers are just, I, what are some of the other riddles I got in the darn book? Uh, regular animals, like Terran, terrestrial animals, right? A whole bunch of different riddles in there. Answers in the back. This is not, the, this is the answers page, all right? Here's some of the answers that are in the back. Professions for way back in the day, different kinds of traps to warn about different kinds of traps or roving parties of, of uh, demi-humans, right? My inspirations. How to actually change a riddle for the difficulty level. Because there are basically eight different types of riddles. I will explain those in not great detail, but just enough detail to get my point across, and then you can take it from there. Just got finished doing a Green Lantern review, so I have my willpower. Anyway, this book, this this it's on Kickstarter right now. 15 days left as of the, the making of this video. This is a book you guys are going to love if you play any kind of role-playing game whatsoever. If you just like riddles, the answers are in the back, so you can guess at the riddles. But I will show you my references for the riddles. I will show you where I got them, uh, most of them from. I will show you how to make your own riddles. I will teach you with the more than 300 riddles that I provide, I will show you how to change the wording to change the difficulty level uh, so that different walks of life people can solve those riddles. I'll make it so that you can very seamlessly add hints in the environment as to the answers of the riddles. I'll, I'll show you how to make the riddles into puzzles so that there are different ways to solve this. You could solve a riddle with a roll of the dice or you could solve the riddle by actually solving the riddle and thinking through the problem. At the end of the day, I'm going to show you so many different ways to make your own riddles or just use the ones here. I mean, with more than 300 riddles, what else do you need? How many more riddles are you going to need? But if you want to make your own, by all means, boom, there you go. I will make a personal riddle for you if you want to uh, get one of those levels of the Kickstarter, by all means. The idea is this is actually a fantastic book. It's the only book in its existence, and I have insiders, too, who work in, one who works in and one who works in the proximity of uh, Dungeons and, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons owners right now, the Wizards of the Coast, and they're actually watching this Kickstarter. Um, I don't know if they want it to succeed or fail, but I do know that regardless, they're going to be making their own book of riddles because of what I'm doing in this. It is what it is. It just, it is what it is. So guys, check this book out. Back this book. Let's actually make this into a reality. I'm not going to beg you. If you don't want to buy the book, don't buy the book. It's cool. All right. But if, like I said, if you like my reviews and you like, you know, where I'm coming from and whatnot, I'm pretty sure you're going to like my first creation. I will be making a comic book at some point. But I'm really hoping that this guy gets back because I really want to show you guys what I'm capable of doing and how incredible this book could be. This could actually get you into role playing uh, tabletop, do it over the Internet, do it with buddies in your, your room, do it at your local comic book or gaming hobby shop. Either way, I don't think you can not like this book. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Everybody who's even glimpsed at it has looked at it. It's like, this is a fantastic idea. This is an amazing idea. Lots of people online. Kelly Thompson, 
uh, Gail Simone, a whole bunch of people. Matthew Sardo. Uh, was it Matthew Sardo? Matt Groom, for sure. I forget if Matthew Sardo actually looked at it or not. But anyway, there's a bunch of people in the comic books industry who have looked at the book and they're just like, dude, this is actually really good. Some of them have actually even already backed to the book. I'm just saying. I love you guys to death. Go ahead and check this out. You're going to love it. Go and just look at the Kickstarter. See what I got there. See what see what I'm offering. You guys are going to love it. I will talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Links below. Class dismissed.